and welcome back to Ozarks Live. All right, Tom, I've got something to add to our watch list. Oh, okay. This is a very interesting one. It's something a little different, I think, for the show. So this time, it's Paramount Plus's docu-series, Ghislaine, named after Ghislaine Maxwell, right? So okay. she is infamously known as Jeffrey Epstein's right-hand woman and was found guilty in 2021 of child sex trafficking due to her involvement with Epstein and the countless women they brought into their entire rich, disgusting debacle. So check out this quick trailer. Do you know Virginia? Can you at least say if she's been in your house? Socialite Ghislaine Maxwell, a trial decades in the making. Did Miss Maxwell instruct you to pick up the young girls? A bombshell revelation from this juror, his only in-depth interview. Some jurors did have serious credibility issues with some of these victims. I felt like it was very important that I shared my sexual abuse story. I feel like that helped other people come to the conclusion that just because some memories are fuzzy doesn't mean that they're, they're not telling the truth. Ghislaine, born to power and privilege. Ghislaine had it all. Her social circle, elite. I think she could be charming to people who would be going to be useful to her. Manipulative, totally. When the walls were closing in, she moved from safe house to safe house. We have evidence of death threats. In the end, she's charged with helping billionaire Jeffrey Epstein recruit and sexually abuse children as young as 14. Ghislaine was essentially the pimp. The victims. I was groomed into doing massages on Jeffrey and then raped. A prince who denies any wrongdoing. I was trafficked to billionaires. I was trafficked to politicians, uh, professors. I was trafficked to Prince Andrew. The verdict, guilty. Ghislaine's family, undaunted. I just don't believe that my sister would have crossed those paths. Juror number 50 says there was a split between guilty and not guilty. After I spoke my story, the room was dead silent. The judge's decision, no mistrial. Now what? Ghislaine, partner in crime, streaming April 7th on Paramount+. Plus. <sighs> it's so interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, a huge trial. Mm -hmm. and, and the whole, you know, the whole story of, of both of them. And, yeah. And the trafficking. And it, it, it's, it's one of those things you'd expect someone in Hollywood to come up with this story. Right. This but it's, it's, it's real life. Real. Yeah, absolutely. And the fascinating thing about this show, which I think the trailer does a good job of kind of um, alluding to, is that it really does this deep dive into who Ghislaine was as a human being. Mm -hmm. um, it does a lot on her childhood, the way she grew up, her affluentness as a child. Her father was a very well-connected, well-known man in England. Um, and then what's interesting that they kind of allude to is later on in life after he passes, they realize some of it was a front and it's just, it's just interesting. You know, it makes you wonder if some of that affluentness as a child is any, you know, parallel to her maybe draw to Epstein and like his career and his richness and his connections. It's, yeah. uh, the whole case is just so like bizarre. It's mind blowing in so yeah, many that, ways. That, that kind of uh, decision or whatever, that's, yeah. that's for someone a lot smarter than we are. <laughs> I mean, we're getting into people's psyches there, yeah. but I mean, just the fact that all of this happened is, mm -hmm. is it just staggering. Yes. Yeah, and so um, as you see in the trailer, um, what also blows my mind a little bit about this is you hear directly from Ghislaine's siblings. So her brother and her sister both interview, okay. and you hear their kind of takes on it. And, and the trailer kind of shows her brother's very in denial about it. Um, he's like, that's my sister. You know, I grew up with her. I know her very well. There's no way she would have done this. But it's kind of tricky when there's a lot of evidence, you know, pointing the other way. And I understand that's his sibling, but it's just a very very tough situation. Now, um, something I wanted to point out to you as well, there's another docu-series done by Netflix a few years ago, and it yeah. was called Jeffrey Epstein, Filthy Rich. Yes. It was one of my favorite docu-series I've ever seen. It's very comparative to um, this Ghislaine series on Paramount, but the difference is the one on Netflix highlights kind of Epstein, who he was, how he got to where he was, the corruptedness mm -hmm. of it, but then it does this beautiful job of giving power back to the ladies that he you know, 
did this to. And so it's very, very powerful. And uh, there's just so much you learn. There's so many people that were roped into this system. Yeah. One of the things that still blows my mind to this day, and they showed this in the trailer too, is the girl who was involved um, with someone from the royal family. Because that royal family, you know, they deny it like well, no yeah, other. She was, you but there's see her on a the... picture of them together. And yeah. I'm like, what do you mean? How can you deny that? I mean, there's picture proof. So it's it's pretty bizarre. It's, I don't it's know. pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't know, but but it, it is. It's, yeah. uh, I, I assume, very powerful yes. series. Yeah. Mini doc, basically. Yeah, it's about four episodes, okay. so it's a quick quick watch, um, pretty easy to get through. Um, and yeah, of course, you can watch that on Paramount Plus right now, so go check that out. All right. Good suggestion. <laughs> Thanks. All right.